Okay, it is now noon, so the tasting locations have opened. And we're right here by number seven, but this is the first one we're gonna start with. We have, our trick is an El Chupacabra, a spicy chicken egg roll, and we have a Dulce Regalo as a treat for a churro with berry sauce. I'm getting both, yum. All right, here we go, we got our Dulce Regalo here, the churros with the berry sauce. And we got the El Chupacabra, the um, spicy chicken egg roll. So the consensus is the El Chupacabra, the spicy chicken egg roll was delicious. Uh, me and my wife both tried it, both loved it, fantastic, especially if you like spicy Mexican food. It's not blow out your mouth spicy, but it's got some heat to it. Kids didn't try it though. <laughs> it had a bunch of sauces on it, they didn't want to touch it. Um, the cinnamon sugar churro, the Dolce Regalo, also very good. It's a little crunchy for a churro, but the berry sauce is really tart, really delicious. A nice Halloween-y dark blood color. And everyone liked it, so. I like the churros, but the berry sauce is okay for me. Okay. And I don't think the boy here, this, this wasn't his thing yet. We'll, we'll find him a treat, right? All right, well, we'll continue around and we'll hit him as we come to him. I bought my, um, the tasting pass online, I can't even, it's attached to my neck now, but I didn't show you guys this. I have first place I picked up over here at the Mexican Grill. They gave me this little tasting card and they marked off the first two snacks I've tried. So it has the map of the um, event here in the back and where all the food locations are and drink locations. So handy and focus, focus. Oh well, it's there. Approaching our second tasting location. Uh, looks like the trick on this one is the Ghost Rider to smoked beef brisket barbecue sauce meat. <laughs> and we got a poison apple, which is this uh, cranberry and apple tart. I think we've got to try the Ghost Rider. Okay, so here we go. Got the Ghost Rider here. It's a barbecue brisket on the Johnny Cake. The daughter and I tried some brisket. Nobody else did. Oh, there's, there's the wife, the lovely wife. She uh, some yeah, she tried some of the Johnny cake. The uh, brisket was really good, really smoky. Um, barbecue's also fantastic. I've never been in the Coney Barbecue restaurant before. As many times as I've been to Kings Island, and everything in there looks and smells amazing. So I can't wait to come back and just try the food in there because I haven't done it before. But yeah, the Ghost Rider brisket was fantastic. Uh, Johnny cake, eh, a little on the dense side. Uh, but not bad, but brisket's worth trying. Very oniony. Very what? Oniony. Yeah, I didn't taste any onions, even though I requested some onions on the side. I didn't need them, though. No. I don't know why I requested them and didn't need them. No. Another tasting location over here by the Jukebox Diner. This one we have the Witch's Grilled Cheese, which I think I will be having. And you have just your classic grilled cheese with your tomato soup. Uh, I'm gonna go with the, get this witch stuff, though. All right, here it is, Witch's Grilled Cheese. It is a uh, pumpernickel bread with smoked gouda and a fire-roasted tomato soup, and it looks really good. And that's a pretty good portion for a, for a snack size, so looking forward to this one. Okay, so that was the best grilled cheese and soup I've ever had in my entire life. No joke. And you better believe I'm gonna be trying to recreate this at home. Never thought to make grilled cheese with pumpernickel and gouda, but that's a thing, and it's good. Here's another tasting station we have. We have the... Uh, Death dog here, which looks like it's a hot dog with uh, jalapenos, pepper jack, and five alarm chili. Sounds spicy. A treat is going to be the mummy. It's a bacon wrapped dog with American cheese and honey mustard. I am not interested in trying either one of these today. I just don't really feel like a hot dog. Uh, but in case you're interested, it is back here in area 72 near Orion at the Meteor Canteen. Over here by the uh, the floral calendar here. They have the funnel cake stand, which is another location for, for tasting treats. Um, we have on this one a worms and dirt funnel cake or a pumpkin spice funnel cake. And I think the boy here has been really wanting a worms and dirt funnel cake. And here is our worms and dirt funnel cake. I got full size because he really wants some. He wanted more than a snack. So we got powdered sugar and Oreo dirt and gummy worms and whipped cream on that thing. So what do you think? Good. Is that worth the wait? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good stuff, Mom. Good stuff. Did you have some? Yep. Pretty good. 
I think I'm gonna skip on this one, but uh, it looks pretty good. I do like Final Cut, I just don't want any right now. Okay, so I did have some funnel cake after all. That's all that's left. And look, can't see it because it won't focus, but there's a little tip missing. I ate some fork. Fun, right? It was blowing around while we were sitting here and the air tasted sweet. It was like wafting in the breeze. But you feel better now that you've had some sugar in you? You're acting better, yeah. Eat goofball. Now, in addition to the uh, the tasting events, they also have specialty drinks. There is a spot that sees brews and booze over here. Uh, at the Oktoberfest bar where you can get some. You can also get them at the Fest House, uh, which is also the home of another tasting location I'll show you in just a second. I will not be partaking today because i got the kids with me, but I may come back on a different day this year and, and try the brews and booze. Just in case you're interested, here are the uh, specialty drinks they are offering. Lots of interesting, unique items to choose from. And as I mentioned, this is also a location for their tasting station. Uh, they have the Toxic Mac and the Fall Mac and Cheese here. I'm not really interested in either one of those, but they are here in case you would like some. And Chicken Check has another one of these tasting stations over here. They have the Dragon's Breath Wings. It's a, it's a, it looks like it's a Korean barbecue. And they have donut holes drizzled with white and dark chocolate. Yummy. Do we want to try both of these? I think we do, right? All right, here we have the Dragon's Breath Wings with the Korean barbecue with the sesame seeds. And we have the pumpkin patch, donut holes with uh, chocolate drizzle. Everyone tried the Dragon's Breath Wings, first thing that everyone has tried and um, everyone likes. So they're really crispy, they're really fresh, they're really hot. Uh, not spicy, hot. a little bit of spice to them, but they're, they're just really good. It's, uh, it's Korean barbecue, so it's a little sweet, a little smoky, a little hot, really good. Um, donut holes. Who's tried the donut holes? I haven't yet. I have. What'd you think? Ooh! They're really I good, especially with the chocolate on them. I'll just pop one in my mouth. It's like a cinnamon sugar explosion. <laughs> have you ever had the, um, what are they, Cinnabon bites at Taco Bell? That's what they taste like. And those are really good too, so if you haven't tried those, try those out, but that's what those taste like. How was your donut, son? Good. Yeah, talk about it. Tell me your opinion. Dragon's breath is really good, but it's a little bit hard to hold because it's a little bit slippery. Okay. The sauce. So just beware. Careful. The wings are slippery. That's what you said. I'm just, I'm not making fun of you. And when they have, um, like I said, they're crispy, so they have Exceptional mouthfeel. Exceptional mouthfeel. Anybody get that reference? Comment if you do. And there is another tasting location right here by the Eiffel Tower at the new French Corner. Um, they have four items at this location. We have some um, Witch's Brew Hot Chocolate, some Hot Cinnamon Cider, Devil Horn, which looks like it's just croissants with uh, meats and cheeses. Some kind of um, bananas foster grape. I'm not interested in any of those. I don't think my family is either, but it is here at the French Corner in case you would like to try. Over here at the Rivertown Potato Works, we have another tasting station. We have a zombie poutine and a French Quarter poutine. Uh, one has chorizo and queso blanco on it. The other one has duck fat fries. Wow. I think we're going to have to try both of those. All right, we have the French Quarter poutine here, which has um, braised beef and duck, it's duck fat fries, with braised beef, some kind of port wine sauce and cheese curds, and this one has, uh, the zombie poutine has queso blanco, chorizo, cojita cheese, and green onions. Okay, well the consensus on the poutine is it's, eh, it's all right. Um, I think we both, everybody likes the the zombie one's better, the ones with the, the chorizo and the queso blanco in it. Um, the French Quarter ones, the braised beef in it was really good, but the rest of it just kind of kind of fell flat. I'm not really a fan of, of the size of the fries. They're really, really, really large hunks of potato. Or they're like my fries, a little thinner and crispier. You what now? <laughs> I love the size. You like the big fries? Yes. Okay. So I think uh, chorizo's better. 
Boy didn't want to try any. He's begging for chicken tenders. Anyway, eh, it's all right. It depends on how much you like poutine. And the sweet spot is a tasting station. They have the El Diablo cupcake, cinnamon candies, and cayenne pepper buttercream. Wow. And they have this chocolate cupcake with a candy corn garnish, a candy corn cupcake, obviously. So I think we're going to get one of each of those and we're going to get them to go. Nobody else knew this, but they have blue ice cream fudge over there in the corner. I'm not getting any of that today, but I'd like to come back and try some of that some other time. It smells fantastic in here. And here are our event special cupcakes here. Like I said, we're going to get one of each of those to go. I'll tell you how that is later. Okay, I'm here at a red light, guys, and um, I just wanted to give you a quick update before I forget completely. Um, when we got home, we did try the... The cupcakes we got to go from the uh, Fall Fest, I uh, forget the name of them, but you, you saw them. There was the candy corn cupcake, and then there was the um, El Diablo or something like that. But anyway, the candy corn cupcake was just a chocolate cupcake with vanilla buttercream, and the colors were just to look like candy corn, but there was no additional flavor to it. Uh, not a bad cupcake, but very basic. Um, decent, okay. And the other one, though, was better than I expected. Now, it's supposed to have that uh, cayenne buttercream and the cinnamon red hots uh, throughout and on top of the of the cupcake itself. So, uh, I expected it to, look to blow my mouth out with the, with the cayenne pepper flavor, but it didn't. The um, cayenne was very subtle, just a little bit of heat to it. Uh, and it wasn't bad. Like I said, better than I expected. The cinnamon came through and very mild flavor, but they complement each other. It's a very different flavor that I'd never experienced before in a cupcake, and it came through nicely. Uh, it wasn't bad. And the cupcakes themselves were a little delicate, a little tender, a little dry, so they're kind of fall apart-y. But um, uh, again, the consensus here was, you know, not bad. It, unique flavors, worth trying, especially going in the sweet shop itself. They have all kinds of other treats in there to try, and it just smelled amazing. Uh, but yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update on the cupcakes we tried when we got home, just so you guys know. And now back to your regularly scheduled video. And uh, the number one tasting station, last one to us for the day. We kind of went backwards around the park, but we have the La Rosa's Pizzeria way up there. And we have the uh, fire toasted dessert flatbread, marshmallow fluff and chocolate and raspberry. Ooh. In this fall harvest flatbread. I think we were going to try both. Pizza and one All right, we stick. got the dessert flatbread pizza. It has the s'mores I with the marshmallow here. and chocolate and raspberry sauce. And then we have this uh, fall harvest, which is some kind of <laughs> sausage and grilled onions or something. Looks good. Okay, well, we uh, did not save the best for last. The, um, the fall harvest pizza very mild not a lot of flavor to it actually most of the flavorful thing on there was the grilled onion so you get a bite of that it's got a really sweet taste to it it kind of highlights everything else other than that it's kind of one note not a lot to it the dessert pizza none of us really liked it it kind of tastes weird it kind of tastes like a knockoff pop tart if i had to give it one flavor um so yeah try it if you want but there's my two cents worth not a big fan the other things in the park that we tried today that are a lot better um, yeah, I don't like their marshmallow. <laughs> trying to sit here trying to think of what my favorite thing was in the tasting today. Um, my favorite, I kind of ate it by myself because they went off to ride a ride and um, I went. they said they weren't interested. So I went and tried at the Jukebox Diner the um, Witch's Grilled Cheese and Soup, the Pumpernickel Grilled Cheese with Gouda, and the Fire Rush Tomato Soup. That was my absolute favorite. That was the best grilled cheese sandwich I've ever had in my entire life. Um, my least favorite, this last thing we tried, this dessert pizza over here at La Rosa's. Just not a big fan. Um, like I said, if I had to give it one description, I'd say knockoff Pop-Tart. But um, yeah, everybody's tastes are different, so come out, give stuff a try, see what you like, see what you don't. Don't just take my word for it. Give it a try yourself and see what you see what you think. My what? favorite was still the Southwestern egg roll. South, the egg roll. The, yeah, the spicy uh, chicken egg roll over at uh, Hank's Mexican Grill. Do you have a least favorite? Uh, I didn't like the pizza. Yeah, getting the dessert pizza. No one's, we didn't seem to like that very much. So it's it's a consensus, so it must not be good if nobody likes it. All right, what's your favorite? My favorite was the dragon's breath. Really? The, the dragon breath wings? Okay. 
Uh, so everything over there at the chicken shack was your favorite? Yeah, so the sweet and the, you know, like... Yeah, I also enjoyed the chicken shack stuff. It didn't make my favorites list, but it's right up there. It was a good stuff over there. Son, did you have a favorite today of the food tasting treats we tried? Now, you didn't try as much of them as we did. You're not as adventurous an eater. You like the dragon's breath wings too? So yeah, everybody was a fan of the chicken shack. We, everybody tried everything over there. We all liked everything and my pizza is flying away. Uh, yeah, we all liked Chicken Shack's a good spot. So if nothing else, try the Chicken Shack and go get some grilled cheese and tomato soup. I, I cannot recommend that enough. So, I've been in the park many times. I don't usually eat a whole lot when I'm here. I like the big pretzel over at the, um, the brew house and I will you know, partake in the blue ice cream whenever I get the chance. But other than that, I'm not really a theme park food person. But, that being said, everything we've tried today, just about, has been fantastic. Um, I don't know if this is just for the fall event or if Kings Island's normal cooking procedure is this good, but it's well worth coming out and trying this stuff. It, it was all hot, it was all fresh, it all had unique flavors. It didn't have that manufactured, mass-produced kind of, you know, feel you get from normal theme park foods. So, the tasting event, it's a great event to come out and, and check it out, especially if you're a little bit of a foodie or you just like to snack a lot or you like theme park food. Or if you don't like theme park food, this is a good place to get your feet wet and come in and give it a try. So, um, yeah, we tried a whole lot today. I showed you everything else in the park that we didn't try, so you know what you, you'd like and what you wouldn't when you come out and give it a try yourself. So come out, give it a try. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of unique flavors for um, every individual taste. So hope it helps. Enjoy your tasting. Bye.